Hello everyone, welcome back to Lewat channel. So today in the new update we have new event Mad Pantheon. So let's get to know about it. So this event lasts for a total 14 days and then the reward period lasts for 7 days after the end. So this one Mad Pantheon has two modes, normal mode and then the challenge mode. Normal mode is when you start at the beginning and then until you clear the floor 20. After you clear the floor 20, normal mode is gone, changed to a challenge mode. We cannot revert it. So in the challenge mode, it is harder because this time we will need to pick a buff and then a, a buff for us and then a buff to the enemy. With the normal mode, we only choose buff for our team. On the challenge mode, we also need to pick a buff to the enemy, which is make it really, really hard. And then we need to pick a team, a party, at the, when we enter for the stage one. The party will be fixed until we clear the stage 20 or we fail. And then if any heroes that die, we remain die un unless you use uh, the coin, the Pantheon coin to revive the heroes after you clear the current stage. You can press the hero and then you can use the coin to revive it. And every time we clear the floor, we will get Pantheon coins and then Pantheon points which we can use to buy the upgrades and then the reward that we want. So they start with the hero start with level 0 up to level 10. We need to use the Pantheon point, the red color one. We need to use that to upgrade. But today in the mailbox we receive a lot of Pantheon coins and then a Pantheon points. So basically now we start at level max every class hero. Yesterday was a green. So the map Pendium consists of 20 stages which are repeated afterwards. The stage is reset to floor 1 if your party is wiped out during a stage or you click this, then you can click the start again. Or you can clear 20 stages. So when the stage is reset all the buff and the debuff you pick all reset as well. So in the battle right, the block generated is limited amount. So you cannot spam like usually you need to use you need to spare the block unless later I see so here also we don't have any healing priest healing skill are not available basically priest here we use for the buffs uh, and then after you clear a stage you will need to pick one buff from the two random Sometimes can be bad, sometimes can be good. But you need to choose the one that benefit for your team, for your current team. And the buff has their levels, like level 1, level 2, level 3. Some is only one level. So it's like you can upgrade the buff. The buff lasts until the, until at most the stage 20 or until you die and then uh, here is the important one the combination of two specific buffs create a more powerful synthetic buff uh, this one is really important and then we can use the pantheon points to change the list of buff right? however the option the cost of changing the list rises every time you change it so like when you get the two random buff right, you don't like the list, you can the up, upper right you have a button to reset it. It will cost a red gem. Each time you, you increase the cost. But this time since we get a lot of those points from the mailbox, you can happily reset the buff for a few runs. And 
and we don't have any synthetic debuff only for us. So here we can go with the status window. Here we list the buff and the debuff if you are, if you are currently on the the running running the stage. And here we need to upgrade our class hero. Yesterday we need to green for this thing, the red one, Pentium point. Level 1, level 2, level 3, until level 10. But today we they give a lot suddenly. So we can just max it all out. Then the reward here is the button, the shop. This one is the most important one. The 4 star all hustler hero selection ticket. You can pick any hero including secret hero. But you cannot pick the collaboration or the Takami hero. So you want to use Nebula, Kaede, Sha, anything, you just pick. Then the rest we have all this reward. Total we need to green is 14,000 points. Pantheon coin we need 14,000 for all of this. So here's the part that we need to green. So like on the challenge mode, the floor 1, floor 2, 4, 3, 4, 4. It's just like 1 coin, then higher 3 coin, 6 coin, 9 coin, 12 coin. But each, ah, uh, oh yeah. And every 5 floor, we will be fighting a random boss. This one gives more coin, like 30 coin, 90 coin, 270 coin. Every 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 we fighting with Persephone This one annoying So the one you don't want to fight is Those Flamethrower tank As if you saw the video the, from the developer movie It is really painful Then we also have these pits We will get a furniture First, we need to clear 20 stage in the challenge mode without ever using revival. Should be easier now because you can spam reset the buff. And we need to max out the level of Paladin Warrior Hunter. This one also done. This one we need to wait for more heroes to be unlocked because we need 3 archer. We currently only have 2 archer. Then about picking the heroes. This one is quite flexible. This one is quite flexible. Right now, Rocher Fort is is strong, and then you can also use Ashley and Dara. Scarlet also good. Winston also good if you. And here is the main. Oh yeah, the. Synthetic buff. Right now we found around three recipe. First one we need to get the block generation, like the extra block from each hero, plus one, plus two, and plus three for the level three. And then we need the block generation time reduced twenty percent. Once you have the level three block gen, and then the Level 1 block generation time reduced, it will automatically combine become unlimited block. Uh, that After using that we don't need to have we don't have any problem with blockchain anymore. And then the second one is using the one give the front hero spear. That one also have level 1, level 2 and then level 3. And the second one is we need to use a uh, plus attack speed 70%. After you get the spear level 3 and then the attack speed, it will combine into shadow mage. It will give your ally a share a clone with two times start stats at the beginning. And last the first, the third recipe that we found is the one with the healing. Healing every 4 second, 3 second, 2 second, or 1 second. The level 1, level 2, level 3, the healing. And then 
the damage immune one time. Once you have the healing level 3 and then the damage immune, you will get a lot of healing per every second. And also they get the resurrection ring. They can resurrect for once. They should be have another more synthetic buff. But we still haven't found any. I will, I will do update if we found more, okay? So let's try the battle here. So here let's go with Roger Ford and then Iris and Ashley. Or maybe we go with Scarlet. So you need to use this team until either you clear the stage 20 or you fail. Then you go back to stage 1 again and choose a new team. So remember we have a limited block here. So you want to use Roger Ford first and then wait until you counter then use Allies block. And then again counter and then we use Ally. So Roger Ford can attack. Here if we can pick the buff. This button is for the reroll. You want to pick that suitable to your heroes. Ah, here this one, the general shield grants damage immunity to ally wise. This one is for the synthetic buff. When you pair with the healing level 3, then you get healing every second and the resurrection ring. But this time we want to go with here. Ally armor penetration buff. Because we are using Roger Ford which deal physical damage and Scarlet also deal physical damage. This one benefit a lot to increase their damage. So you need at least to know your your hero passive. Now we pick the debuff for the enemy. This one is our ally motion. This one reduce our motion speed. This one can be dangerous when you are facing a boss that stun us because they also extend our stun. But this one enemy's critical resistance increased by 30%. This one make it harder for us to deal critical hit to the enemy which means our damage will be lower, harder to kill them. So for now, I will pick the allies motion speed decrease first. Here you can see the summary of your buff and the debuff. Now with that, here we reward one Pentium point and then one Pentium coin. So you can see that this is a lot of green because we need like 14,000. And if you just do floor one, you only get one. The most we can get is by killing the boss every stage five stages. So Roger Pot again, then we wait until counter. Here we have the ally resistance buff. Less magic damage taken. This one is good if we go to the defensive one. This one will probably the most confused. Which is failure PT. Increase the failure PT of allies. This one will do nothing until until you get the level 3. The level 1, level 2 will do nothing. The level 3 will summon Sim Chong, the little girl with the muscle, the big muscle one, the muscle girl. It will join you in the battle. So this time I try, we go with resistance buff. And then here, we also get the debuff. This one, enemies attack power increase. They have another one that increase damage. So there is attack power and then damage. If you if you pick those two at the same time, the boss most likely will one shot you. So we want to pick the less destructive one. And since we are using physical damage DPS here, so the enemies resistance increase won't affect us. So better to pick enemies resistance. Now we go to the next stage.
Then here we have the attack speed buff increase ally attack speed by 70%. This one can be fun if you pair with the auto attack uh, skill. This one critical hit bonus, this one you can think like Ebelin, where you deal enough critical hit, you will get extra damage from the Ebelin. This time, this one, when you reach level 3, you will summon a train. So, poop. But for this level 1, they will summon Poto. This is fun. And then this one inflict 1000 fixed damage. This one can be dangerous unless you have the healing. But since we don't have any healing, we had to take the enemy's damage reduction. This one, if you possible, try to avoid. But this one is more deadly, so we can only choose this. Unless you are confident to burst the enemy before our HP gone. So Roger Fox again and then we wait until parry. So they are a couple bonus for the classes. This time is for Archer. So it will sprout a plant seed upon using Archer's block two times. And then attack speed buff increase a light. Ally attack speed. Since we don't have any archer here, and this one also not that good, we can try to reroll. This one increase. Okay, so let's go with the ally resistance pump. This one also still not good, so we just need to go with the motion speed decrease. This one like really depends on your luck. If you get a lot of bad debuff, it is really hard. So this one we are fighting the boss now, random boss. Hopefully not the tank. Uh, this one is also this one. This frame thrower tank can be deadly if you didn't get the resistant buff earlier that I picked. Else you get one shot at it. So this time we, we don't have any. We have freeze, but this one doesn't not good. Let's reroll again. Here we have a point a laser. This one can be good once you have an unlimited block gen. Wasted a lot of the point. the hunter because we have scarlet here The critical hit bonus here.
So if you are using the Rochefort right, Rochefort passive rely on enemies doing misses or rely on Rochefort passive that to block the hit. So taking enemies accuracy will reduce our chances to deal the parry. But since this one enemies critical resistance will reduce our damage so we try to compromise we pick the enemy's accuracy For normal attack bonus. So enemies attack speed increase. This one is very good against Roger Ford because we rely on the enemy to miss us. So more hit means more chances. But also enemies evasion is also good because Roger Ford ignore evasion. Let's go with the evasion. Wizard bonus, summon a shooting star upon using wizard. We don't have any wizard, so we go with ally armor buff. This one benefit for Roger Ford because the Roger Ford damage scale with armor. So if you see the armor buff, pick it. And then let's go with the enemy attack speed. Now we have a 3 coin now, and then next we is the floor 10, we are fighting a boss. Let's go with the sum with the warrior bonus since we already level 2 and we still don't have any healing so I won't pick this inflict 1000 fixed damage but instead I will go with the evasion we are halfway there floor 11 We can finally see the regenerate HP of allies, 10% of their max HP every 4 seconds. So here we pick resistance because it doesn't concern us with our physical damage DPS. The level 3 summon a great sword. You will see something like the Lionel Big Sword. And then we go with evasion again because we. Oh, we do have 
healing now, so we could possibly go with this. Because we don't want to miss the damage from the Scarlet also, with the evasion enemy, Scarlet won't deal much damage. We go with the priest bonus and enemies attack power increase. We go with the attack speed. So we go with our chopper again. Spear. At least we get more damage. This one increased to for two seconds. We our healing right now is four seconds, so we better not go with this. We go with the enemy's HP. Now we are fighting the boss. take a hit bonus now we can summon the train but this one also let's go with more damage oh, let's go with the attack speed so about that the giant great sword right because we rely on the Lionel eh Rochefort no evasion only the hawk Ignore the evasion. The the great sword doesn't ignore the evasion. So take that in mind. If you want to increase too much evasion. So here you can see the big. Let's go with the magic defense buff. This one only once we don't get. But we do have healing. We do have healing. Let's go with this. Here, enemies armor increased by 3000. This one is a big no-no for us because we are using physical damage DPS. This one will lower our damage by a lot. So we go with enemies HP increase. So right now we have a regenerate HP of allies level 1 only. If we pick the immune damage for once, and if somehow we manage to get this two times to level 3, then we will get the synthetic buff which heal and give resurrection. But right now we are already at the floor 16, so we only have the 17, 18, 19, 3 chances to get 2 healing. And the tough, so I go with the increased resistance to tank magic damage better. Unless you want to keep reroll the buff. So this one is too late already, let's go with the spear. And we 
Okay, since our healing won't be enough, we go with the ally motions. But the decreased ally motion can be scary for the floor 20 because we could get permanent stun by the boss from that. Most mostly kill me uh, that way. So this one evasion bonus also very good for Roger Pot. They increase the chances to parry the enemy. But when physical attack buff will be benefit more because we get more ally and more penetration. We can deal more damage. Luckily we can choose the enemy's resistance. With more ammo penetration, Scarlet and Rochefort can deal more damage. Hopefully one shot the boss before it start to kill us. Bonus and evasion bonus. We go with the evasion bonus. Damage from the enemies increases by 30%. This one will be painful right now, especially the next round is the boss. So we go with enemies accuracy. Just on hopefully, our evasion level 1 can counter that. So now we are reaching the last floor. I die on this a lot because I can't one shot. Usually the stun kills me. Hopefully can clear this in one take. So you can see so slow now. Now I got stunned. This is not going to be good. So here is a trick. Immediately close it. Immediately close it. The loading screen is really good. But don't tell anyone about this trick, okay? So if you like almost dying or dying, you just quit the game. Close it. And then we press this continue, okay? Just continue, but don't tell others. So this time I try to spam that hopefully Scarlet can kill the boss before stun us. Uh, seems like it's too much evasion, Scarlet can't hit enough. This doesn't look good. One more time. 
If this one also can't, then I give up. This video is too long now. One more try. We can't spam. We can't hit. What to do? Also no hope. Uh, so I hope you understand. We stop here, okay? Bye bye.